Right, hello everyone. Um, so this video is going to be on PC builds or my PC build specifically. Um, so we are going into PC Part Picker and we are going to be building um, my PC but with the upgrades that I'm putting in and I'm going to show you how much it costs um, and prove to you guys that even when building with components to make your PC a powerhouse that it's not going to be th that expensive. Most people are going to think oh it's going to blow like £1,200 on it blah 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 this person did this this person did that not only can you do that like when i built my first pc i built it and it didn't take um it's e even cheaper it was even cheaper than what it was to build this pc um so even at that it proves that you can build a pc that runs works really well can play the latest games and it can be incredibly cheap i can guarantee you can buy one for about uh, build one for about 400 pounds or maybe less if you can work some miracles um, and build a PC out of those components or you could buy a old uh, not an old PC but a standard PC uh, just like a house desktop and you can upgrade those if you get the right ones you can upgrade those and turn them into something special um, but I'll, today I'm not going to be doing that I'm just going to be going into PC part picker choosing out everything that I'm going to be uh, putting into my PC to change it and upgrade it. I'm technically building a new PC because I'm changing quite a lot of components um, but still it's uh, something that needed to be done and I'm just going to show you guys what it all is. So here we go so we're in PC part picker and the first thing that you can tell like, make sure that you change it to your currency when you get into it um, but what I'm going to say is I personally first thing I look at is I go I do go down in the list order um, and I can be choosing things I'll go to the CPU first but a lot of sometimes I can be choosing things cosmetically you don't have to do that and it'll definitely cut down the price of your stuff but so let's have a look at CPUs now in my current PC I use Intel now I when I first built it, Intel was the thing to, to go to CPU. Um, but now, of more recent time, um, you have Ryzen, and their CPUs are amazing. Uh, the price for what you get is great. Your clock speeds and everything uh, for the prices are amazing. They're really, really good. I do recommend going for a Ryzen. The issue is if you do have an Intel-based PC, you do have to change the motherboard like I'm having to change, um, which is a shame, but we're still going on it. So these are the top sellers um, or the top um, rated uh, CPUs that people go for the most popular. Now we're looking at AMD Ryzen 5, 7, 5, uh, Intel go away because look if you look at these sorry to keep on breaking up the uh, pro process of conversation but you have these CPUs all here Ryzen Ryzen 7 uh, 3700X um, is 8 cores 3.6 gigahertz 4.4 gigahertz boost clock and it's running at 65 watts and it's 256 pounds okay I would say that's probably not the greatest example of Ryzen but if you go to Intel now I know that the uh, 9700 is 9700 is um, one of the better uh, i7s and it's a K so you can do quite, uh, you can do um, overclocking and it's got eight cores and it's got a boost clock of 4.9 gigahertz but it's running at 95 watts which is it will get really hot so you need really good cooling for it um, possibly water cooling I can guarantee that the cooler that it comes with probably isn't good enough even if it does come with a cooler um, it has integrated graphics but why do you need that when you're going to be getting a GPU especially with gaming rig you will need the GPU um, well most likely will need a GPU because that is the main thing that's going to give you a good gaming performance but look at that it's £345 like it's just not worth it 
And you may look at this Ryzen 9 uh, 3900X, um, but this has got a clock core, uh, uh, a core count of 12 and runs at 4.6 gigahertz. It may have a, a boost clock of 4.6 gigahertz. It may have a lower boost clock than the Intel does. However, it's got more cores. So it's good at doing a lot more processes, but, and it's 381. So it's not a massive difference for like the extra four cores that you're getting out of it. So it's, it's really good. But we're going to what I'm getting. Um, and I may, it may seem a bit sheepish for me to get this, but I did look at, so I looked at the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and then I looked at the Ryzen 5 3600X and I said to myself, for longevity, I want to get the 3600X because you got the, a higher boost clock, um, you got the same amount of cores and it's a, like a 40 quid difference. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'm going to go for that. I did some research and I looked at some other channels and seen what they're saying and people doing benchmarks on it. And um, I just saw, eventually I just thought it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. The £40 difference, which I could be saving getting more RAM, for example, um, I'm not. it's not worth getting. Uh, so you're better off just getting the Ryzen 5 3600. So what I'm going to do is add that to the list. Um, and on top of that, I can't go back now because... Uh, if I just go over here, just give me a minute. I already have it. I ordered it the other day, and uh, yeah, so I bought that, and I also bought some other pieces. Um, but I'll come back to those when we get onto those sections. So, um, if we start looking at adding that, sometimes you can get these things on sales when you get like things like Cyber Monday or whatever it is. Or uh, big tech sales on tech websites like Newegg, or um, oh, uh, Overclockers. If you look at those, they might have a better price uh, on sale or something along those lines. Uh, always check the websites if you're doing on PC Power Picker. Because sometimes PC Power Picker can't pick up what you're doing, um, or pop can't pick up sales. Sorry. Um, so that's uh, really good. Uh, CPU to go for so that's what I've gone for personally And it's highly recommended by a lot of people so I'm going on CPU cooler see if you don't if you keep into an extra budget You don't actually have to get another CPU cooler um, But I'm not saying they're very expensive. You can stick with the core um, CPU cooler that you get with your CPU if it comes with one that is um, But here we go. This is this is the CPU coolers and I would recommend what I'm doing I'm not going for water cooling you can get really uh, cheap water cooling, like this Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L um, with the radiator and everything. It's RGB, it looks great. Um, I'm not very confident in water cooling, I've never done it before. I'd love to do it one day um, and work on something like that, but I'm not going for that now. Now, what I have heard from the beginning of my PC building experiences is that the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB or the Hyper Evo they're very 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 good um, you've got so you've got your standard version I know a personal friend who has one of these and it's really good and you get really good temps out of it but like I said going for the aesthetic uh, look and all that I really want to get my PC looking kind of unique and uh, turning heads so I've looked at these before and I would really like to get the Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. Uh, it will suit in the uh, black set out that I think I'm going to be having. So if I go for that or if you guys want something really quiet, maybe you don't want a PC that's uh, really loud, uh, go for go for a Be Quiet because they are quiet as ever. They, they are beautiful. But I'm going for a Cooler Master Hyper 212 black edition rgb now when i looked at this previously it was uh 40 pounds and now on here it is saying on amazon it is 34 pounds so let me just click on that quickly and have a quick look and it is see um we've got sales on so 34 pounds is sa saving around what eight quid that's pretty good that's pretty good that's eight quid you could use for something else um but yeah, awesome. So, 
we've got the CPU and I've got the CPU cooler. Now, with the CPU, you're going to need something that you need a motherboard to place the CPU on, obviously. Uh, motherboard is key. So, we need a motherboard that is compatible um, with. Uh, with the CPU. Now there's an issue with Ryzen 5 CPUs. It's not necessarily an issue, it's more uh, a BIOS coding thing to do with the motherboards. So what we have here is we have a MSI, uh, we have the MSI B450s which is the most probable um, motherboard that you'll be going for when you have a Ryzen 5 CPU or newer um, because you need it for the uh, third generation. Now, if you go for a standard B450, for example, the MSI B450 Tomahawk, get rid of that max. There is a, there is. If you get the MSI B450 Tomahawk, great motherboard, a lot of people use it. Um, it's not too expensive. Um, I have gone for a different one personally, but it's not too expensive. I've gone for a different one because this one was out of sale. That's just how good it is. But, um, a lot of people go for this one however with the b450 tomahawk standard what you need to do is you need to have a bios um stick so uh if i can find it i don't know where i put it i have a it's in my pocket it is so if you have a flash drive uh, or a usb stick um you will have to download a bios update onto the usb stick and then when you're setting up your PC um, before you put it together, stick this in when the motherboard is powered up with the BIOS and it should come up with a setting on the BIOS of the uh, motherboard to do a BIOS update. Um, it's a bit of a pain, so this is a reason why I recommend going for a different motherboard. Um, so the MSI B450 and a lot of the B450s have an upgraded version of themselves. Now it can be a B450 and they all end in max. So you can get your B450 Tomahawk max, you can get your, I think it's an MSI, the one I'm getting is an MSI A Pro Max I think, I think that's what it's called, that's uh, MSI uh, B450 A Pro Max, so this is the one I'm getting. So as you can tell it's sticking to that kind of uh, black look um, that I was talking about. I didn't want to go with black and red originally, but I've kind of changed my mind. Um, so you've got this slick looking, um, sl slick looking motherboard. It works really well. You've got your um, PCIe slots. You've got your uh, it's DDR4. So I have to change out my RAM because my previous motherboard used DDR3, but it's fine. I've explained this previously. I'm using all the components from my old PC. Uh, for my dad's PC because it was birthday recently so I'm building that for him um, but so this is the one that I'm going to be getting and I have purchased it um, it's on a re-delivery so it's um, coming back through um, they're going to be in restock for um, sorry uh, is it going to be in restock for the 20th so it should be arriving for like the 21st to 22nd um, so yeah, um, if I can find it again, because I've lost it, uh, there it is. So let's add that to the build, and it's quite cheap, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. You can get cheaper, if you want to go even cheaper, you can go for a budget PC using Mini ATX, but I don't personally like using Mini ATX, unless I'm building a PC for a smaller scale. Um, the reason why is because you can't fit as much in, and it can be really cramped, and you need to get a... Um, smaller cases sometimes or something along those lines or they look really small inside the build so I don't really want that I just want to go with standard ATX looks really good awesome so I've got that arriving anyway so I've ordered that so this so far isn't too bad it isn't too bad um, you may be like oh but the CPUs are uh, £155 it's a really good CPU it'll, if you think about it it'll last you in the long run um, you can get cheaper ones, you can go for a Ryzen 3, but all in all, I'd say Ryzen 5, 3600, perfect, great uh, price for what it is, um, really, go for it. And then we are going next to the memory. So memory, um, it's straight straight, straight out of the door. Um, what I'm going for um, is Corsair Vengeance, it's very popular really not too expensive um, 
and it looks really 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 good um oh, really 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 good um so we are going for so you're looking for around 3000 speed and the corsair vengeance comes in that um i'm going for because i don't have the budget i'm on a budget at the moment i am unfortunately dropping from 16 gig uh, ram to a uh, 8 gig ram um, but what i'm going to be doing is adding uh the <clears throat> adding the uh corsair vengeance uh 8 gig which is running at ddr4 3000 speed so yeah it's pretty good and it runs really well with the uh cpu you kind of got to think about that previously to my build i didn't think about that and I have quite slow ram so it's just the way that it works really um but let's add that to the build i would prefer to have 16 but i'll buy that later on um in fact what i'll do is i will add another 16 uh, another eight sorry for so i've got 16 to show you how much the build is fully going to be the good thing about pc part picker as well it also tells you if you're uh, going to have compatibility issues with anything that you have or the and it also informs you about the wattage which is really really good um because you don't want to be getting a build and then being like oh i haven't got the wattage for this um and then you can't run your pc because you just can't power everything so we are going to look at storage next now i recommend getting a ssd and a hdd it will put you back about 100 pounds but at the end of the day it is something that's recommended um because you don't want to be shoving everything on a hard drive and having really, really slow so um slow loading speeds but you also don't want to be having uh, just an ssd because you don't have enough space uh, unless you've got loads of money and you buy like a two terabyte ssd which i don't yeah they're, which they are available and they're like 400 quid so yeah um but here we go we'll look at some uh 7200 rpm I'm going to put down the one that I have from the beginning of the build because I'm not going to say that I've got anything else. Um, I need to just quickly get this to one terabyte. One T. Oh, one thousand. And we are looking for a green. Doesn't really matter which one it well it kind of does because blacks are so much better but here we go we'll go caviar green this is roughly the one i've got um in fact i will just add one sorry i will add one that's roughly the same just go for a western caviar blue uh, it's 33 34 pounds so it's really cheap uh, this is the main storage device that's key um we're looking at ssds now you can get two different forms of ssds um and they are there's a speed difference between them for sure you can get your standard ssd um with a sata connector or sata connector whatever you want to call it and uh it's not as quick um but you can also go for your m2 now m2 is much faster form um, but it can turn out to be a bit more expensive lately however i'm finding that you can find things like this western digital blue m2 500 gigs for 59 pounds so if you've got that little bit more budget i would recommend going for it but i've got an ssd already so i'm going to put in what i have so it's 500 gigabyte and it is Kingston. I remember when I bought this, this made my life. This did. Um, it might be a little lower. Yeah, I think it's just a little lower than 500 gigs. We'll be able to find it. I think it's this one, the A400. Um, I'm gonna add this one. But it made my life completely different. If you're sick of loading screens on things like Skyrim, anything that's a large game that takes forever to load gta all those kind of fucking games that take forever get an ssd and put the game on the ssd it takes minimal time and it speeds up the process like drastically it's the same with uh having good memory a good amount of memory will always speed it up um they're small things that aren't massive uh price differences and you can get them fairly cheap 
the SSD 500 gig is only 52 pounds uh, 53 pounds you can get them um, I got mine on sale for about 30 quid so always look for sales guys always look for sales but um, going on to another thing that's key to your gaming PC if you want a good gaming performance get something like this now I know um, I know that specific youtubers say uh, put roughly about half your budget on your GPU um, I do agree with that in some ways but at the same time I don't because what can happen is you will get that GPU and sometimes like when I first built my PC I built it in separate parts um, but look on to get in look do your research on what GPUs you want um, and what you want out of it um, a lot of time people say recommend Nvidia I really like AMD personally because of the price difference um, I don't like the fact that Nvidia have a big name um, and because they've got such a big name and they're the go-to guys that they can basically um, choose <laughs> what prices have got and just skyrocket everything um, so I always go for AMD stuff but MSI uh, I'll show you what I've got so if I in fact I'm just gonna search here because there's no point in going on so I've got an RX 580 now this is equivalent to an Nvidia 1060 roughly um, it's a good low ish price uh, graphics card I know some people really struggle with this kind of stuff but you can really get good performance out of this graphics card make sure that you've got a decent CPU with it because the CPU that I'm running with this graphics card now isn't amazing um, you end up getting things like um, uh, you end up getting things like uh, bottlenecking, and you really don't want that because it will really cap your graphics card's uh, potential. Uh, so we're looking for a 580 now. I've got a 580 uh, Sapphire, so it's not actually MSI. Um, it's a Sapphire Nitro Plus. So this is mine, and it is a. Uh, I looked at the differences between the standard, uh, I looked at a, I think it was a Sapphire Pulse, uh, don't know if I'm correct there, but the speeds are very close. Now I was initially going to get a Sapphire Pulse, but then I changed my mind, well only because I couldn't get the Sapphire Pulse, I could get the Sapphire Pulse and the Nitro Plus for the same, pretty much the same price. Now I bought one off eBay second hand from a person who used it for, um, like data mining uh, so I managed to get that or Bitcoin mining or whatever um, and I got that fairly cheap and I looked for an 8 gig because I didn't want the 4 gig what's the point and um, I grabbed so I grabbed this and the bonus of the Nitro is there's not much difference in your um, in your uh, what's it called there's not much difference in your FPS and your gaming, there's slight differences, but it can make a difference because Nitro Plus has better cooling. Now the bonus to the better cooling is if you're confident enough to overclock your GPU, you can overclock it without getting major temperature spikes. You will get a really good temp and that is great because then you can get better FPS out of it. So all in all, it is a better graphics card. Now I bought mine, it says £240 here. On eBay, I got mine for 150 and it works perfectly fine. It's basically brand new. So I recommend looking at eBay sometimes as well because eBay can be great. Just be careful though. Look into your sales, um, look into your buyer, I mean your seller, look into your seller because sometimes they can be someone from China, for example, selling some knockoff version of your uh, of the GPU that you actually want you can get scammed really badly so just look into the seller make sure that you've got their locations if you feel really unconfident about buying it email them um, talk to them or go and look at reviews online um, really good way of double checking just double check on what you're doing because you don't want to be spending loads of money on a graphics card that is just going to ruin uh, ruin your day um, so I'm just going to add this so let's keep going, um, we've got, only got the last few pieces here, so we've got the case, case really doesn't matter too much, now I'm going for aesthetic wise, um, I really want this to look like a good PC, um, I want to get rid of this old case, 
I don't want to get a new one, but I really want to find a case that's got good ventilation. So I was looking over this the uh, past few days and I did look at this case, the Corsair Spec Delta RGB, but I didn't really like it too much. Um, it didn't have what I wanted, it didn't have a shroud for my power supply. So I was looking for other things in different ways and I have been looking through these quite frequently. Now I looked at this NX, uh, NZXT uh, H510. I mentioned this in a previous video that I wanted to get this. Now my issue with it is if you see here, this ventilation section isn't great. Um, it's, it's the only front ventilation that you're really getting. You've got back ventilation for days. You've got your, you've got your shroud here and you've got your mounting piece here for anything uh, for your, um, for your uh, cooler. But it's, the side ventilation really put me off. Now I had a look on Bitwit, go and subscribe to Bitwit, great YouTuber, love him. Um, but I was looking at one of his builds and he used one of these because they sent him out one. Now he didn't say anything about the front ventilation and I know he has spoke about ventilation and stuff like that and fans. Now he mentioned that it comes with two fans which are these two but on the front apparently in this panel you don't get any fans so you could buy later down the line buy some extra fans it shouldn't be too bad for your cooling you should still get good temps especially with that cpu cooler you should still get really good temps and stuff like that but it's the only problem but i think it's a really nice looking case so i it's what i'm going to go for um it's really it's just really nice i want to get a version of it where it comes in um, a different color so I'm just going to look at H510s and see what this looks like so you've got the H510 you've got it in white you've got it with the red you can get the H510i which comes with LEDs within the case now if you're looking for budget and you don't really want to spend an extra like 30 pounds on it I would say buy your own LEDs you can get them with adhesive strips on the back you can plug them into straight into your motherboard make sure you get those ones not the USB ones um, and plug them straight into your motherboard through any spare lighting LED port or anything like that and you will be able to have the lighting within your case for a cheaper price it may not look as good but at the same time who's really looking directly for the strips when they're looking inside the case of your beautiful PC so Let's just have a look at what we've got here. So we've got the uh, H510 um, in white, black. I know you can get it in red and black. Um, the issue with the red is that I really want something that's gonna match with my graphics card. Um, so the Sapphire GPU has a blue LED strip on it that says Sapphire. Um, and it just doesn't work with everything else. So I don't know if I wanna go for white. Um, the thing that puts me off of white is I think it's just going to get dirty. But let's go for the white for the build sake for now. Um, let's just let's just go for that. So I'll add that to the build. And the final thing that we need to look at is a power supply. Now I've known people to build PCs back in the day, and they have built them and cheaped out on their power supply. Why do it? There's no point. You're just going to mess up your PC. It's just going to short out. You're possibly going to fry your expensive GPU or anything else. Don't do it. Rule of thumb, do not cheap out on your power supply. Everyone says it. Go on any tech channel, they will say it. So what we're looking for now is um, any any GPU for, for EVGA, Corsair, Cooler Master, anything that then we'll take any trustworthy company really you don't want nothing cheap um, because it will just fry everything um, so what we're going to look for is the best thing to look for for you guys is make sure that it's got 80 plus on it um, if it's got 80 plus uh, you can go gold bronze gold platinum um, all of these things basically make it so it's trustworthy and the components used to build it are certified so what I'm going to look for is an 8 plus gold, the one that I've currently got on my PC is an 8 plus bronze but I can guarantee we won't be able to find it. Um, so even if I go 8 plus bronze, put in 
now I've got 600 watt which covers everything and leaves me a little bit more breathing room with my wattage so you can see what I've got here 414 watts so I've got an extra 200 watts there that's going towards um, anything extra I will be adding to my PC later on in the, um, down the line so what we've got here my um, uh, la, la, la. mine was a Corsair um, 80 plus and it was a semi um, modular um, I like semi modular because it allows you to do a bit more with it um, a lot of people say that you can go full modular uh, don't go no, mo no modular um, but I like going for semi modular so let's see what we've got here um, I know you can get one for so you this is this is probably the one I've got this Corsair CXM um, but obviously there's no price so I'm going to try and find something roughly the same so 650 watts 600 watts this is probably it the CX I've got this is the one I've got this is all I've got but there's no price again um, so we're looking for something around 600 watts let's bump that straight to 600 so I can get it exact here we go uh, there's a be quiet one now what I'm going to say is I'm going to add the be quiet one um and just say knock 20 quid off it because it's be quiet and the fans on it are probably amazing um so this is probably equivalent of about 60 pounds um even at that i could probably click on it to see if there's anything no no one has it so let's just let's just add the be quiet one i don't want to say that that is the official thing but this is the whole pc built um, the PC itself, I'm saying monitors aren't included. You can always get a 1080p monitor um, or a 4K monitor if you want, but I recommend getting 1080p for this. Um, run 1080p monitor um, and you can get them for like it, all, all kinds of prices. I've got a Dell one here, which is a 21 inch, not too big, um, but I'm running two monitors. And I've got an Asus one here, uh, which is about 24. Uh, inches so what I would say is probably go for uh, something along those lines about 120 quid you can get them uh, even if you don't if you can't get that you can always get a cheap monitor that costs you about 20 quid so 20 30 quid like just be careful with what you're getting um, and I have an optical drive but I don't use it so there's no point in adding that it's just an extra like tenner that you don't want to be spending software now if you're lucky enough and you have friends about you can get someone like me who has Windows 10 on a flash drive now you can always buy these um, but just be careful because you can always get people who just put viruses on them because the world is full of cruel people um, but just look for an optical drive um, that's uh, or uh, not an optical drive just look for one of these a flash drive something along the lines of um, or find a CD that has Windows on it. Um, you can always go to a workshop and ask them to install it because I can guarantee to you I've worked in the PC workshop before and uh, they have special engineering discs in which they can install Windows on and they do it for fresh installs and stuff like that so you can request that if you go to a PC shop or something along those lines. I'm not talking about PC World for people out there, I'm talking about like a PC repair shop, they'll do that. Um, so yeah, so you can get the operating system that way um, and it wouldn't be too expensive. Uh, sometimes you can get Windows 10 and it will require an activate key. You can always buy those online. Um, but yeah, it, and it, all things like accessories and stuff like that, um, you can buy uh, things like network, wireless network adapters and stuff like that, which you can put in your PC or you can buy the dongles. Um, or you can go on and uh, you can also buy you things like headphones, keyboards, but you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to spend a lot of money, I'm telling you guys. So if you look at this build, you take off about, I'm going to say 30 quid from that, £835 for a build. For a really good PC, really, really good. If you save your money, I recommend buying it all in one. Previously I have bought PC uh, pieces and bought them bit by bit, no point. It takes so long and by the time you've built your PC or whatever, it's going to be out of date. Um, not to say that PC building just goes wham. Sometimes things can go like change drastically over years. But 
all in all, £865. If you've got £1,000 that you've saved up, which I do recommend getting about £1,000, save up £1,000, keep £200 back for upgrades or whatever, or a monitor, and you've got a whole setup ready to go, and you can play games. This system will be guaranteed to play like most modern games. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, um, like Warzone and stuff like that, all kinds of stuff like that. So I do recommend you guys all try and um, try and build a PC like this if you're on a budget. Uh, you can go cheaper. Like I didn't have to spend seventy four pounds on a case. I could have gone for twenty quid. Um, I didn't have to go out my way and buy sixteen gigs. I could have just got eight. Um, I didn't need that cooler. You can cut down this whole thing by about easily. 100 200 quid and make this whole build 600 pounds and it would still be amazing so and you can even get even less on the rise i would say cut it down by easily make it 600 pounds exactly um but anyway that's my build that's what i'm going to be upgrading you'll be seeing a few videos based on actually building this pc and putting it together but i hope you guys really enjoyed it um, come back for more content I will be uploading more gaming videos and I will be doing more um, engineering videos and stuff like that and PC building um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it and um, yeah thanks like dislike subscribe comment what you like um, I'll try and reply um, but thanks guys um, I hope you enjoyed the video goodbye